Bacon Bakers. Today we're going to make something a little bit different, something we've never made in the cafe before and something that I've saw a recipe for and I thought I'm going to try that. So we've got some oats here. Now we usually always use our oats at work for flapjacks but I found a savoury flapjack recipe so I thought I'd share it with you. We can see how it comes out. If it works out well perhaps we could make it at work. But it might be a healthier sort of version of a flapjack to have instead of one that's full of butter and syrup and sugar. So we'll start with our carrots. So we've got 175 grams of carrots. Just going to peel them. And then they need to be grated. last week's carrots so it's a good way to use them up they're a bit floppy oh, it's carrot top time isn't it can you hear that charlie hey let's just take the top and the bottoms off Get those later, Charlie. I'll just put those in the rubbish. Right. So let's grate these carrots. So that's 175 grams of carrot, 175 grams of cheese that's got to be grated as well, 150 grams of rolled oats, an egg. And that's basically it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pumpkin seeds and some ses uh, sunflower seeds as well. And it has a little bit of butter dotted on the top. It's quite easy. It's not hard at all. And bake it the same as you would a normal flapjack. So I'm just doing it in a square tin that I've lined with paper. And it would be much easier if your carrots were fresher than this and not all bendy. <laughs> So I can see if I'm not careful I'm going to have a grating accident. We do have a lot of those at work, we don't want any here. Especially as I don't think I've actually got any plasters on the house. Because they are so bad, I'm not going to go right to the end of these. But that's a little bit more for the dogs, I'm sure they won't mind. I don't mind a bendy carrot. If you had some really nice big fresh carrots, you could probably get away with just one. So it's only 175 grams, it's not a lot of carrot. Right, so put those in the bowl. I'm making these for my husband to have really for a bit of a lunchtime snack rather than a sandwich. So there's the carrots grated in the bowl. We're going to add the cheese. If you wanted to make it really healthy you could lo use low fat cheddar. This is just normal mature cheddar here. So I haven't I haven't even tried it. I just saw it on my just the recipes that come with my veg box and I thought, ooh, I'm gonna try that. I've also got some cold rabbi in the cupboard which came with my recipe box, which I might make into a salad later in the week for you to see. It's not a vegetable that people have very often. I did try and grow it once, but it wasn't very successful here. Right, so there's the cheese. That. So that's 175 of carrots, 175 of cheese, 150 of oats, 
an egg. How this is all going to mix together, I don't know. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work out, I'll just delete the video. So. <laughs> You never know. So one egg, it doesn't really bind it. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there. It doesn't say it, but I think I will. Some salt. Pepper. It says about fresh herbs and you can put some fresh herbs in. I have got some coriander here. So I'll put a little bit of that in. I have got basil as well, but that won't go so well. seeds in so I've got pumpkin seeds sesame seeds no they're not sesame seeds they're sunflower seeds sorry now that's what it looks like so we'll pop it into the tin I take it that the cheese melts and binds it all together. That's what we're hoping anyway. like in the tin it's very colorful so i'm going to pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes and hopefully it will come out all right i'll let you know see you then bacon bakers i'll put a photo up so you can see what it's like and i'll get a report back from my husband okay cheerio